Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. I'm so thankful three years ago I fell on my knees and I cried out to the name of Jesus. I cried out. My back was against the wall. I was right there. But let me tell you something. I was in a dark place. Jesus was in the light and he ended up, he, he made himself in a dark place so I could become in his light. Amen. Hallelujah. On the cross. He found it. He put himself on the cross. He knew light. He, he knew no sin. Amen. He knew what light was. Amen. He had a relationship with God, but he was crushed for my iniquity. He was bruised for my transgressions. Uh, hallelujah. The chastisement of my peace was laid upon him that day. Hallelujah. That day I cried to his name. He, he became dark so I could become light in him. Amen. Hallelujah. The day I called on his name, I was at the cross, but I deserved to be at the cross. I deserved to be on the cross that day. My back was against the wall. I was right there at the cross. I deserved it, but Jesus and great in his mercy, had mercy upon me that day when I cried to his name. God was pleased to give me a spirit and raise me to new life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lamb of God. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I deserved to be on the cross that day. Amen. Hallelujah. I deserved it, but the Lord Jesus Christ had mercy upon me and he said hallelujah you're going to be with me in the father's house now amen hallelujah that's what he said to me that day amen and he brought me into the father's house now I live with him hallelujah now I'm preserved in Jesus in heavenly places amen hallelujah praise the Lord hallelujah praise the Lord praise the Lord hallelujah Jesus glory be to God amen amen I hope everybody's having a blessed morning this morning. I'm just so thankful. Hallelujah. Almighty King Jesus. What a word. He's so mighty. He's so mighty. Hallelujah. I just thank him for the cross. Amen. I thank Jesus for the cross. I thank Jesus for the cross today. He paid the price that I deserve to pay, but he became darkness that I might become light in him. Amen. But he didn't stay in the darkness. Hallelujah. He was raised from the grave. The Bible says, I will not leave your soul. He will not leave my soul. My, my flesh will rest in hope. Amen. Hallelujah. Raised them out of hell. Hallelujah. Well, given him, he took captivity captive. Amen. And took the keys of death and hell. Hallelujah. Proving that he is the son of God, the truth, the way, the life, and getting the victory, eternal victory for all of us. Hallelujah. Praise be to the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ. Worthy is the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. You know what, brothers and sisters? Um, if you think about this, John, when he was praying about 40, this is like 40 years later, 40, 50 years later after Jesus died, John was, he wrote revelations and he was, he was praying. And he, when he went into the trans, he, he, when he was up there and in, in, in the heavens and he got to see the future, a glimpse of the future, he, he was sad. He fell on the ground. He said, he said, no one's worthy. He, his eyes were in tears. Just imagine, you know, and then all of a sudden they said, it be of good cheer. One has prevailed. That's the root of David. The, 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 the root of Jesse, the seed of David, the line of Judah, hallelujah, he has prevailed to open the, break the seals and open the Lamb's book of life, hallelujah. So he was down on the floor saying, oh man, nobody's going to get in, uh, oh man, and then all of a sudden they said, be of good cheer, one has prevailed, the faithful and true witness, hallelujah. His eye, his eyes are, 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 are like fire, and his hair like woo, hallelujah, praise the Lamb of God, he is worthy, and he's coming brothers and sisters. Uh, hallelujah. I'm just so thankful today. Hallelujah. I'm so thankful for what he done on the cross for me. Hallelujah. My back was against the wall, brothers and sisters. The night I got saved, I was at the cross. You understand? I was that thief on the cross that night. I was in darkness. Uh, but Jesus right there on the, showed the thief on the cross right there. He said, you'll be with me today in paradise. I want to tell you something, brothers and sisters. I don't deserve a thing from God. I don't deserve nothing from him. Hallelujah. But he became darkness that I might become Become light in him. He became sin that I might become the righteousness of God in him. When I my back was against the wall, I had nowhere else to look to. I was right there at the cross. I hated my life. It was over with. I didn't know I was either going to kill myself. I didn't know which way to look to. But I looked up. Finally, I looked up and said, Jesus. And I'm going to tell you something. He gave me light that day. He gave me a new life. Even though I deserved to be at that cross. Even though I deserved to, to die a death that night. Even though, and I did die a death. 
hallelujah. But the death that I died wasn't the death that, 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 that sent me to hell, hallelujah. It was the victory, hallelujah. I died a death with Jesus that night, amen, hallelujah. He paid the price and I died with him that night and I was raised to new life with him that night, hallelujah. What a victory we have in Jesus, amen, hallelujah. I thank Jesus for the cross. He paid that price and gave me that free gift that night, hallelujah, and amen. I ain't been the same since. I'm just so thankful for that wonderful grace and he's so rich in his mercy. Amen. Hallelujah. I hope somebody hears this today. Hallelujah. Jesus became dark that I might become the light in him. Hallelujah. Praise God. Right there on the cross. He became sin who knew no sin that I might become the righteousness of God in him. Think about this, brothers and sisters. Jesus went to the cross. Hallelujah. He, when he was going to the cross, he had the light. He had the glory on him. He had the light on him. He had, he was in the land of the living with God. You understand? But he was cut out of the land of the living for us. Amen. Right there on the cross. Hallelujah. The thief looked to the side and that thief was me. Amen. That thief was me. Amen. That thief who deserved to be there the night I got saved, I was the thief on the cross. I was that thief and I looked to Jesus that night and I was ready to kill myself. I was ready to go and I looked, finally looked up a God great in his mercy. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Even though I was in darkness. See, Jesus was in light. I want you to hear this. Hallelujah. Jesus was in light and became darkness. You understand? Right there at the cross. Hallelujah. But those that were at the cross, those who were on the cross with him became, became, uh, became, uh, uh, they were dark. They were in the dark. But one of them looked and said to the other, he said, he, he, he testified right there. He said, we deserve to be here. Amen. We deserve to be on the cross. That night I got saved. I deserved it. I deserved I, I, not, not to get saved that night. I deserved the I deserved the fact that that, that I could have that, that that I should have went to hell that night. I should have killed myself. But guess what? I should have. I'm gonna tell you something. But the Lord, great in His mercy, instead of me doing all that, I looked up to Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But let me tell you something. I was saved that night. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to tell you something. My brother killed himself. You understand a couple of years before that, and it just it, you know and and. And, and, and I, I tell you, that night I was ready to do it. I was ready to do it. There's many times I almost did it, but I but I remember he killed himself, and I didn't want to. I, I just always, I, God knows, but, but, but that night I looked up to Jesus Christ, and I cried to his name right there at the cross. I was at the cross, you understand? I was at the cross. My back was against the wall. I hated my life. I was I was right there on it. I had nowhere else to look to. I was I was afraid. I was scared, and I didn't know where else to look to. But I looked up finally. God put me in that position right there. Sometimes we had to we had to find our life crucified. Sometimes we find ourselves without. We find ourselves not finding anything in this world. No hope, lost. But guess what? When we find ourselves like that, it's the love of God. We deserve to be there. But God great in His mercy. If you just look up to Jesus, Amen, Hallelujah, and say, Lord, I deserve to be here. But you know what? I believe. I believe Jesus. That night I cried to the name of Jesus Christ. He gave me new life, brothers and sisters. I thank him for that cross. You understand? Worthy is the Lamb of God. I just thank him for the cross. Amen. Praise God for the price he paid for my sins. He bore my sin. He bore my shame. Amen. That night I'm so thankful today that Jesus died on the cross for our sins and he was raised from the dead on the third day. And not just our sins, but the whole world's sins. He's so worthy. Hallelujah. And anybody, sometimes, you know, th those situations in your life when you came to the Lord, think about it. You were right there at the cross. You had nowhere else to look to. Your life was crucified. You, 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 you hated your life at that point. You hated your life. You, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't have no, that's exactly, you must hate your life before you can come to him. Hallelujah. But it's God's love. He put you in that position. Why? Because there was nowhere else to look to, but up. He was calling on you. He was getting a hold of you in every way he could. We found ourselves right there at the cross, and we deserve to be on that cross. We deserve to be right there at the cross, crucified. Our life was done. You understand? We were desolate. We were without. We deserved to be desolate, but Jesus became desolate for us. He became poor that we might become rich in him. He became desolate that we might become, that we might be filled with the spirit of the living God through him. Amen. He was, he, just imagine, he was walking to the cross Riches all get out. He's the son of God. He was born in the flesh. Hallelujah. Justified in the spirit, received up in glory. But he became desolate when we were desolate. The night we were desolate. Y'all remember? Y'all remember? Y'all remember when you got saved if you've been reborn? If you've been born again? If you ain't been born again, you better get born again. 
You understand? Or you're on your way to hell. You better get the spirit of God or you're on your way to hell. And there's no exit door when you get there. And I'll tell you the truth. Now, the good news is Jesus died for you. But hallelujah. But 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 each and every one of you that were born again, you your life was crucified. Yeah, it was. You best believe it. You're like, or you heard the word of God and you were like, oh, I crucify that. Amen. I believe you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. But, but I'm going to tell you something. The night I got, I got saved, my life was crucified. I hated my life. I was about to crucify myself. But you know what? I looked up to Jesus. Hallelujah. And he had mercy upon me that day. And I died a death that day. Old things passed away and all things became new because he liberated me with the spirit of the living God. The day I looked up to Jesus Christ, amen. He liberated me and gave me a new life. And brothers and sisters, you remember the night you got saved? Y'all remember we were the thief on the cross? We were right there. We hated our life. The life was crucified. We were desolate. We were without. We, we didn't have nothing in this world. We, were, we, we, we couldn't find nothing that would satisfy us in this world. We were desolate. And we definitely didn't have the spirit of God. So we were completely desolate. If you don't have the spirit of God, you're desolate. That means you're, 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 you're Sodom, Saddam and Gomorrah right now. But if you look to Jesus, hallelujah, he can lift you up and give you light and make you fool. He became poor that we might become rich in him. Hallelujah. That night, I tell you, I looked up to Jesus and he gave me his richness uh, freely. He said, come drink of this water. I give it to you freely. Amen. He gave it to me that night and that took everything. It took my world, everything being crucified. I had to be like that thief right there on the cross with Jesus and look to him. You know, I deserve to be here. I didn't, I, I deserve to be here. Save me, Lord. Have mercy upon me. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Please save me. And guess what? He was happy to save me because he loves us. That's his love for us. Amen. Hallelujah. He, 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 he was the light. I was in darkness. I was sin. I was sin. I went to, I, I found myself right there at the cross, right there at the crossroads. Some people call it. I found myself on my back against the wall. You understand? Nowhere else to look to. Desolate. And guess what? Jesus went there with the fullness of God. He went there in the fullness of God. Hallelujah. The fullness of uh, God bodily. You understand? He went to the cross in the fullness of God. Why? That he might become desolate, that we might become rich in him. He became poor so we might become rich in him. That day he became poor on that cross. And just like when they touched the sheep's head. Just like when they used to touch the little lamb's head and, and transfer their sins to the lamb and they would slaughter the lamb. They would make them touch the head. They would transfer his, that night that, that we were on that cross with him. He took our sins from us. He imputed righteousness. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. He took a sinner. Hallelujah. And imputed righteousness in him. Hallelujah. He became sin that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Hallelujah. That night we were born again with an incorruptible seed. Amen. I'm trying to tell somebody something. Hallelujah. You better listen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lamb of God. I just thank Jesus. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for the price he paid. I just thank Jesus. Oh, he's so worthy. Worthy is the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Who bought me with the price of his blood. Amen. We've been bought, brothers and sisters. That means we're no longer our own. We're born again. What does that mean? We were no longer born of the flesh. We are no longer born. Jesus was born of not of the flesh, not of the not of the uh, the will of man or the will of flesh. He was born of the will of God. Do you see? So he's given us rights as sons and daughters of God. So likewise, we've been born not of the will of flesh, not of the will of man, not of your own will. And if you're self-willed, you're going to be corrupted and you're going to be accursed. The Bible says it. But if you repent and turn back to the Lord and lay it all down and die daily, hallelujah, like we're supposed to be. Amen. The long suffering of our Lord is salvation. Amen. What a gift we have for those who are truly believers. Amen. But you better stay in the word of God. Hallelujah. Keep the feast of our Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We're shaking the fence on him. Amen. We get to preaching that. Amen. But praise be to God. Amen. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, I want to thank the Lord for his mercy. I want to thank the Lord for his healing. I want to thank the Lord today. I just I just thank God. Y'all want to pray? I'm going to praise the Lord for a moment. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a good song. And I'm going I'm to read something out of Isaiah right after this. Praises. I sing praises to your name. Oh, Lord. Praises to your name. Yes, Lord. Oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. For your name, for your name is praise and praise to you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I 
and sisters, amen. The Bible says that, 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 that he will, the name, they will believe in that name and then and the name the Gentiles will trust and there will be a glorious rest in that name. Let me tell you something, there's so much power in the name of Jesus, amen. Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. There's so much power, mighty power in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. The night I got saved, brothers and sisters, I cried to the name of Jesus Christ. I cried to the name of Jesus Christ and he saved my life. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I'm just thank God for that today. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to read something tonight, uh, this morning. This morning, I pray it blesses us. Hallelujah. What the Lord did for me the day I got saved. You understand? The day I got saved, the day he gave me his spirit. Amen. The day I looked up and said, Jesus, when I was right there on the cross, amen, right there at the cross with, with Jesus, deserved to be condemned, desolate, without. The whole world was crucified to me, just like the man on the cross. Everything was crucified to me at that point. I had nowhere to look to but up. And I thank God for that. And I looked to Jesus. And guess what he said? He said, son, you'll be with me today in paradise. And hallelujah. I mean, I'm in Jesus now. Amen. I've been brought nigh to God. Hallelujah. Through Jesus Christ. 
Christ. Amen. Filled with the Holy Ghost. I hope somebody understands that. I hope they don't, they don't hurt you. I hope you understand what Jesus said. I go to my father's house and prepare a place for you. I'll be back to get you. That day he got me and brought me to the father's house. Amen. That day he came down here and got me. Amen. And brought me into the father's house. You understand? He prepared a place for me in the father's house. An inheritance incorruptible. No thief can break through and steal. Hallelujah. Predestined. Hallelujah. Praise the Lamb of God, Jesus. I thank the Lord for it. Amen. Hallelujah. Because he paid the price. Amen. He paid the price. Worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah. I hope somebody understands what I'm saying here. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo. Glory be to God. He said, I go to the Father's house and I prepare a place for you. Hallelujah. And I'll be back to get you. Well, brothers and sisters, the day you look to Jesus, because he's already he's already in the Father's house. Amen. And the day we, we, the day we look to Jesus, we were brought nigh into that place he prepared for us. And now we're there. Hallelujah. We're in him. And when he appears, we're going to appear with him. Amen. Somebody better wake up. You better find out where you're at. Hallelujah. We might be in this flesh. Oh, we're putting out this old flesh tabernacle amen one day amen and we're putting on that new heavenly where jesus prepared a place we're in it now amen our souls in it amen our minds in it our hearts in it where your heart is that's where your treasures at my treasures in heaven my inheritance is in heaven amen i'm crucified to the world and the world's crucified to me amen somebody better wake up hallelujah Praise the Lord. I'm just trying to, hey, glory be to Jesus. I want to read something this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Ain't God good? Ain't our Lord good? Ain't Jesus Christ our Lord mighty? Ain't he mighty to say that mighty, 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 mighty name? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. I'm just so thankful this morning to praise the name of Jesus and bless the name of the Lord of glory. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. The mighty King, the Lord of glory, who liberated me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I just thank the Lord this morning. I'm going to read something this morning, and it's in Isaiah 53. Hallelujah. The Lord's had me read this for the past couple of days. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Who had believed our report? This is a this is a prophecy of Jesus Christ before he came. It's it's, it's so evident that, 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 that well, this one right here is just so evident that Jesus Christ uh, was the Messiah. Hallelujah. That he that he that he forever lives too. Amen. He ain't in that grave no more. He's raised from that grave. But this is what he did for us. Amen. This was a this was a, the, wit, the, the the spirit bears witness that Jesus that Jesus was coming. See, he hasn't came. He didn't come just yet then. But but now we know that he's came. Hallelujah. God's testimony to the world. He was manifest in flesh, justified in the spirit, received up in glory without controversy. Amen. Hallelujah. So I'm going to read something, brothers and sisters. Here we go. It says, who have believed our report and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant. And as a root out of a dry ground, he had no form nor comeliness. Hallelujah. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised and rejected of men. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. We hid as if it were our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Surely he had borne our griefs. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And carried our sorrows. Hallelujah. He said, you remember when he said, the old perverse, how long do I got to bear with y'all? Oh, perverse uh, ge generation of vipers. How long do I got to bear with y'all? Yeah, you can, brothers and sisters, as we grow in the Lord from glory to glory, you know, some bear 30, some bear 60, some bear 100. We go through tribulations because of it. We go through things. We start to see the things that Jesus went through more and more because we're the light of the world. We take heed as well. As, uh, Jesus said, I'm the light of the world as long as I'm here but until I fall into the ground I can't I can't it can't produce no uh, uh, I can't it can't sprout you understand so when he fell into the ground all the children who believed in him became the light of the world you understand you best believe that hallelujah a light so bright that we it's like a city set on a hill it cannot be hid amen so what are we we're sons and daughters he became we became lights of the world you understand sons and daughters so take heed to yourself as Jesus said you are the light of the world a city set on a hill cannot be hid okay wake up wake up Wake up. You should be growing in the from glory to glory. Hallelujah. From faith to faith, righteousness should be revealed from faith to faith. Amen. We should be drawing back. Hallelujah. It's time to grow up. Amen. Hallelujah. So praise the Lord. You've tasted and seen that the Lord's gracious. Don't be led away with the error of the wicked. 
You understand, brothers and sisters, don't be led away with the air of the wicked, but rather grow in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord. He loves us. Hallelujah. He's so compassionate. His mercies are new every morning. So, and, and let me tell you something. God is so good that when we're going through things, hallelujah, as we follow him through children, he knows you. He knows the true children. Amen. He knows where he is. He knows those Esau's out there. He knows those, 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 those I'm not going to, I really can't compare too many people with Judas because Judas did the worst thing you could do. And, and God used them, <laughs> you know, he used them. He used them to probably cast out demons. He probably used them to, to, to prophesy in the name of Jesus. He probably used them. And he also used them to carry money. You understand? But guess what happened? He would had an assignment. He had an assignment because Satan has an assignment too. You understand God's plan. Amen. Was for him to trade in Jesus for 30 pieces of silver according to the scriptures. Amen. And he did it. He did God's plan. He fulfilled God's plan. Hallelujah. God uses uh, uh, devils. You understand? Hallelujah. God uses devils for the perfecting of the saints. See, Jesus was perfected by the obedience. He learned obedience to the things he suffered. So because Satan threw him out of the world, Satan was in the, those children. They didn't know what they were doing. They were captive, captive by Satan because Jesus was the light of the world. He was the truth. Nobody knew truth until it was revealed. You understand? So, so, um, so Jesus was cast out of the world and, and he learned, he learned obedience to the things he suffered. So Satan's just a tool in God's plan to perfect his children, just like Job perfect his children. He's just a tool in God's hand, God's plan to protect, uh, to perfect the children. So we got false believers out here. They might walk with you for a while. They might try to strive, you know, or go alongside you. But uh, the Bible says a thousand may fall at my left and 10,000 at my right, but it shall not come nigh. He knows those that are his and he knows those that are going to turn away. You understand? He knows those that are going to walk with him for all the days of his life. What did the Bible say? They were manifested that they're not of us. What does it say in John? That they're manifested that they're not of us. So it's sad to know that somebody could be doing an assignment for the Lord for a moment, just a willing vessel for a moment, and then all of a sudden they're broken off because they, they're they led away with the air of the wicked. That's why the Bible says to love, to grow in the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, brothers and sisters. To, you've tasted and seen that he's gracious. Don't be led away with the air of the wicked. You've been warned. You've been told. I'm telling you now. I love you, brothers and sisters. Be a true child of God and follow Jesus. Be with him where he's at. Cling to him in his presence. His children are going to be in the holy place. You understand? If you're not in the holy place, you're, you lie and you do not the truth. The holy place is the light. Hallelujah. The Bible says you lie and you do not the truth if you're not in that light. Hallelujah. With the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses you from all sin. That means you need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. If you're not, you need to repent, turn back. It's not a game. You can be found. If he pops up on the scene, you can be found without. You understand? He loves you. He don't want that. That's why he's using me to warn you. I'm telling you now, I love you in the Lord, brothers and sisters. You hear me? I mean, well, now I, I love you. I want to see you in heaven, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I want to see you on that day too. Je uh, you know, uh, gl glory be to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right. So, so surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. You know, Jesus became, when we were desolate in that position, somebody went on here when I said this, when we were desolate, the night we were desolate, those true believers on here, the ones that are filled with the light, amen. Uh, if you're not filled with the light, you can drink of the water, you understand. But those who are who are growing in, as children of God, you know, the water's free for those who don't know don't know Jesus. I tell you, it's free. It's all freely gives, amen. Hallelujah. But those who have tasted that water, hallelujah, you better grow up. You understand? Don't be led away with the air of the wicked. It's time to grow up for some of you. You understand? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's time to grow up. The Lord's saying it. You can't be playing around with this world. He's been long suffering. We got to hold fast at first confidence, steadfast to the end. Because we are made partakers of Christ. If, 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 if we hold fast at first confidence, steadfast to the end. If we're truly his. You understand? Some people need to repent. Some people need to turn back. Some people need to humble themselves under the mighty hand of God and he will exalt you in his love and his presence. And you'll remember your first love. You'll be zealous to do the good works you were created for in Christ from the beginning. You need to get back to that before you get found naked and without. If Jesus pops up on the scene because he's coming like a thief and you're found naked and without, you're going to get. And, and you know what? Every time his children come to you, his true children, and you reject reproof, the Bible says those who reject reproof will be utterly destroyed. He don't want you to harden your heart. He loves you. I'm just telling you the truth. You know the truth now. And 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 and, and, and to know the truth and to hold it in unrighteousness, uh, God knows. He's you're not hidden. 
Everything is, is, is before God. He can see it. Remember, God's watching you. It ain't me watching you. You should obey God from the heart through the spirit when nobody's watching, period. And that's how you grow in the grace of God. Is And you ain't got to know a whole lot. But if you just do what he says and not just be a hearer only, but a doer of the word, then you will be a wise, wise man. You don't even have to have a lot of wisdom. You know, to have wisdom and, and not be wise is is all the more foolish. But to have no wisdom and to, and to just say, yes, Lord, that you can be, you'll become the wisest person. Hallelujah. You'll be wise as a serpent, gentle as a dove. And you'll, you know, I'm just telling you, God, God will protect you too. Because when you're on that boat, when you're on that boat with Jesus, you know how we got on the boat with Jesus today? We said, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. When you're on that boat with Jesus, that means you're, you're back to your first love. You're exalted in his presence. That's the boat. That means you've humbled yourself until you, he's exalted you in his love and his presence. That's when you're on the boat with Jesus. That's when the storms come and Jesus shows up and says, you a little faith. I told you I'd show up for you when you're obeying the spirit through the truth. You understand if you're not on, if you're not on that boat in his presence, then you are, then you're, you're going to, you're going to be found drowning in the water. You understand? Hallelujah. You don't want to be found not on that boat, brothers and sisters, like Noah. Hallelujah. Only the people on the boat were saved. Amen. So you better get in his presence. Remember, the spirit of God hovers across the face of the water. You understand? It hovers across the face of the water. Don't get found in that to, to, to drown in the uh, perdition and ungodly. You understand? Now it's time to look to the Lord and wake up. Somebody hears what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus today. All glory be to Jesus. Somebody's getting that manna right now. Amen. That's that, that's that meat. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Somebody see when you, when you exercise your senses to discern between good and evil in due time, you'll be able to receive the meat. If you can't hear what I'm saying, brothers and sisters, you need to wake up and let's grow up. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's get it. Amen. But if you do hear, God's pleased because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And God's pleased to increase you because he increases. He's pleased in faith. So what does he do? For by grace, through faith, you understand, he gives more grace. Amen. Every time you hear something, you're like, yes, Lord, he gives you more grace because you believe. Amen. It's just amazing. It's amazing how he is. To, you know, it's just amazing. Anyways, I'm going to keep reading this, what the Lord told me to read. Hallelujah. He told me to read this. So praise be to the Lord Jesus. I love the Lord. I'm so thankful for Jesus today. I'm so thankful for Jesus today. He's so mighty. He's so mighty. He's so mighty. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your love, Lord, to be in his presence, to be in his love. Amen. I'm just so thankful today. Hallelujah. He protects us. He shields us. Hallelujah. He said, I go with you. I hold thy hand. He said, the waters shall not overflow thee. Amen. You remember when the waters came into the boat on the disciples? Hallelujah. You remember that? When we were, when we were walking into the presence, that's a, that's an evidence. That's our soul being in that boat. You understand? Hallelujah. And then when the ungodly waters try to come into our soul, hallelujah, God wakes up when we get a little frustrated, when they vex our soul. He wakes up and he says, uh-uh. He raises up the hand against the wrath of the enemies. I want somebody to wake up and hear what I'm saying today. All glory be to Jesus. Amen. Somebody's hearing the word of God today. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'll just thank Jesus. Amen. He's good. He's good. He's good. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for the price you pay. He bore all our, he bore all our sin and shame. In love he came and gave amazing grace. Hallelujah. Blessed it is a man. You know what blessedness fell on us? Hallelujah. When Jesus came into this world and died on the cross, he became desolate that we might become rich in him. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The night we were desolate. Hallelujah. We, our back was on the cross. Guess what happened? The night I was on the cross and my back was against the cross. Amen. I, I was in a desolate place. But Jesus, he, he, he went to the cross and he was in the light. Amen. Hallelujah. And he became poor and, and stripped of his of, of, of the light. Hallelujah. Just for a moment. But he was stripped. That way he could give it to us. Say amen. Right there at the cross. We were at the cross desolate. We deserved to be at the cross that day desolate. That means we didn't have we, we couldn't find nothing in this world. And we finally looked up to Jesus. And guess what he did? He became poor who knew no sin. Who he became sin who knew no sin. That we might become the righteous of God in him. And that day we were freed by his great mercy. Hallelujah. We were freed by his great mercy and his love and his grace. Hallelujah. For by grace you are saved. Hallelujah. And he lifted up, lifted us up in heavenly places. Amen. Because he paid the price. Hallelujah. Bless. And that blessedness came upon us that King David talks about. He says, blessed is the man who the Lord imputeth not iniquity. You see, he took our iniquity 
and he gave us righteousness. We've been free from sin. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. That means uh, sin no longer reigns in our body. Grace reigns. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo, praise God. And he just, and, 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 and there's, he says, he says, blessed is the man who blessed, uh, 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 whose spirit has no guile. He's the, he's the, when you're a true child of God, he foreknows you. He's the potter with the clay. He's in control. The potter has power over the clay. <laughs> you understand? And he's going to keep us because the blood of Jesus Christ is so mighty. It purges our conscience from sin. Somebody's hearing what I'm saying today. Amen. It purges. Who, who can know their own faults? King David said, if you're growing in God, you'll, you realize that you're not, you know, you don't, you don't continue to yield your members. You're free from sin. Now, if you're not there, just keep praying. With, let's pray with our brothers and sisters. Pray with us. Confess your faults to one another. But you grow up in Christ, right? Amen. And, and, you, and you realize King David was mature. He said, who said, he said, who can know their own faults? Cleanse thou me from secret sins. You understand? Hallelujah. Because he was, he was to the point where he was grown up in, in, in Christ. You understand? He was, he, he was mature. He was mounted. You understand? He was mounted in the presence of our Lord. Hallelujah. And he, and he's like, who can know their own faults? It's like saying, hey, I'm the clay. You're the potter. Cleanse thou me of secret faults. I don't want to, I don't want to see the great transgression with those when they, when, when God shakes the fence on the, on the, on the, on the, on the false believers and they fall back to perdition. We don't want to be found out. We want to be, make our calling an election. Sure. There comes a point in time that this fence is going to be shaken on us, brothers and sisters. God's merciful. He's gracious. He's long suffering. Amen. That's why we got to trust him and don't be led away with the error of the wicked. You understand, brothers and sisters? Don't be led away, but rather grow. You've tasted and seen that he's gracious. Let's grow in the grace. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for the price you paid. He bore all our sin and shame. In love he came and gave amazing grace and brought us into a heavenly place. He said, I go to my father's house and prepare a place. I'll be back to get you, son. I won't leave you uncomfortable. Hallelujah. We didn't even deserve it. We didn't even deserve it. We were at the cross like that thief. And you know what? He still prepared a place for us in heaven. He still said, hey, let there be light. You understand? That's what our Jesus did for us. Amen. Hallelujah. He became poor that we might become rich in him. That night I got saved. I, can, I said, Jesus, I cried out to him. And all I had to do was look to him while I was at that cross. I deserve this, Jesus. Save me. I deserve this. I'm desolate. I'm sorry. I hate my life. I'm ready to kill myself. What do I do? And Jesus said, I love you, son. I've been waiting. This is all because of my love for you. Hallelujah. You came to the cross, son. You came to the cross and deserved it. But you know what? I don't want to hold none of that against you. I want to forgive you. I want to wash you clean today and give you a rights to be sons and daughters. Because you know what? While you are yet still sins, even though you deserve to be at that cross that day, even though you deserve to be desolate and without everything, I love you. And I want you to know my love for you. I, I died on that cross for you. I came in this world and I died on that cross for you. And I was raised up to new life so you can have a life with me forever. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I hear you, Jesus. I hear you. I hear you, Lord. I hear you, Lord. He's so good. He's so good, brothers and sisters. I hear you, Lord. I love my Jesus. Woo. He's so good, ain't he? Ain't he, brothers and sisters? He's so good to us. He's so good. We don't deserve a thing from him, but I, but I love my Lord Jesus. I thank you. Oh, I love my Jesus. Oh, I don't deserve anything. I just love him. He just loves us. He loved us first. He loves you, brothers and sisters. He loves you. That's exactly what he did for us. Wow. That's mighty. Glory be to Jesus. Oh, glory be to Jesus. He loves somebody today. He wants you to remember your first love because he loves you. Don't keep walking in that way. Don't keep thinking you have to continue in sin. Believe what he says. I'm faithful with the temptation to make a way for you to escape. Look to me. Come to the throne of grace boldly. And I will have mercy and give you grace so you can overcome that temptation. 
so you can overcome that temptation. Let me give you an example this morning. I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, uh, I got to do what the Lord wants me to do. And then I felt led to go to that. But I, 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 Lord be willing, I'll go to it in a minute. We're going to finish reading this because the Lord's had me read this for the past couple of days. And I thank God for it. He knows best when we listen to what he says. Remember this. When the disciples pulled up on the boat. Remember this. When they pulled up on the boat. Remember? At the end, when he, he was arisen from the dead, when he was risen from the dead, guess what he told them? He said, they've been fishing all day. And guess what he said? He said, throw it off one more time on that side. They threw it off to a side that they were like, yes, Lord. They just obeyed and did what he said. What happened when they did what the Lord said? And when they didn't understand why, they pulled in more fish. There's so many fish that it couldn't even, the net almost broke. You understand? So sometimes we do what the Lord says and people can be healed. You understand? Because it's all for Jesus, right? Amen. He is the light of the world and he has made us because we are now his. We're here in this world. He says, you are the light of the world, my children. You understand? You are the light of the world. Now go bring forth fruit. My, fa my father has, this is, herein is my father glorified that your fruit might remain, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's go. Let's go. Um, uh, let's read this. It says, all we like sheep have gone astray and we have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord have laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted. Yet he opened not his mouth. He brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before her shearers is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare this generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. Jesus was cut off. He became poor. He became sin. He was cut off. That, that, little, that little lamb they used to get back in the day was a shadow type of things to come. They put their hands on it and the sins that they had would transfer to the sin. They would make them put their hands on their head before they killed them. So that day Jesus... Jesus took our sins. It was transferred to him. He became sin, just like they used to put their hands on the lamb's head and the sins would transfer over because the lamb was innocent. Well, he's the lamb of God. Hallelujah. He was the light going to the cross. He was full of glory going to the cross. And what happened? He, he, he was stripped. He gave it away. He gave it away. On his way to the cross, let me give you an example. On his way to the cross, it was so divine and so perfect that that, 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 that people, that he even went to them and, and Pilate came out and said, here, you want the thief or do you want Jesus? He set the thief free right then and there. You understand? He set the prisoner free, the murderer. He set him free. That's how manifest it was in the flesh that he was setting murderers free, that he was setting thieves free, that he was setting people who knew no, who, who, who was full of sin free. Hallelujah. All the way to the cross. It was beautiful. Amen. And he got on the cross and what happened? Nobody praised him, did they, on the cross, did they? Well, guess what? Remember what he told the remember what he told the people? He said, He said, if they don't cry, if they don't praise me, the rocks will cry out. Well, guess who praised him when he got on that cross? The earth shook, didn't it? The rocks were crying out. You understand? He said that would praise me if nobody else did. And they wouldn't praise him because the Bible says right here, he was despised and he was esteemed him not. And surely he borne our griefs and our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smiting of God and afflicted. But what look here, as he prophesied, the rocks would cry out if they didn't and guess what the rocks did at the end everybody else esteemed him smiting but the rocks were praising god hallelujah hallelujah they said they would he said they would and they did somebody better wake up they knew <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> praise the lord almighty king and savior so all we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. The Lord had laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter, as a sheep before her shearers is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. Wow. Praise the Lord. He was taken from prison. And from judgment, who shall declare his generation? You know why he was in that prison, why he was in there being judged by, but see, the, the Pharisees couldn't go in there. 
It, it was just him and Pilate. Pilate would question him in there and say, hey, he said, I found no guilt in this man. But, but guess what he said? He said, don't you know that I have the power? He said, you don't have no power but what God gave you. You understand? <laughs> if, if God gave you the power and it scared him, it shook him. He's like, whoo, whoo. Those kind of words, just imagine all the way through. That's my king. Woo, woo. Faithful and true. Hallelujah, that's my king. Woo, glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo, yes, Lord. All the way to the cross became sin who knew no sin. Woo. Woo. Hallelujah. 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 That he could set the thief on the cross free. And guess who that thief on the cross was? That was all of us. We found our wall back against the wall. We were all on the, at that cross. We deserved to be there because we were there in darkness. We were there in evil. We were there desolate. We were there. Look, and then guess what? Jesus and his great mercy, God loved us. And he said, hey, look up. And we finally looked up. To, 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 to Jesus and said, you deserve, you know what? You're innocent. We're, we're guilty. I don't deserve anything. I hate my life. And I look, we looked to Jesus. What did he do? He gave us life. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Worthy is the lamb. So we're going to keep going. So, and he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich men in his death because he had done no violence. Neither was there any deceit in his mouth. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He had put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering, his soul became an offering for sin. His soul who knew no sin, righteous soul who knew no sin, became sin that we might become the righteous of God in him. You understand? He made it an offering, the precious Lamb of God, bruised. Crushed. Praise the Lord Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We praise you, Jesus. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He had put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. Wow. Wow. That's mighty. That's mighty. That's mighty right there. Praise the Lord Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. All glory be to Jesus. All glory be to Jesus. He shall... See the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied by his knowledge. Shall my righteous, righteous servant justify many for he shall bear their iniquities. Guess what? Guess what, though, brothers and sisters? Ooh, what I just seen right here. I want to show you. Oh, glory be to God. Wow. I just give it all to you, Lord. Wow. He justified. That's mighty. That's mighty. Yes, Lord Jesus. I hear you. Thank you, Lord. Worthy is the lamb. Thank him for the cross. Amen. That's mighty. Just so much revelation. It's just popping, 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 popping. And it's just, whoo, it's good food, good food, good manna from heaven. Amen. I just love to eat. You understand? Hallelujah. I ain't talking about the food that feeds the belly. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Be not moved away from the simplicity of the gospel, brothers and sisters. Amen. This is real stuff. Uh, hallelujah. Praise God. For by grace we've been saved through faith in Jesus. Amen. The mighty King and Lord of glory who has converted our souls to the obedience of the faith as we grow in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior. Don't be moved away with the air of the wicked and fall from your own steadfastness, my brothers and sisters. You've been warned. So that means that means you won't have no excuse if you are. You understand? God knows those that are his. <laughs> That's why the Bible says all that it's for the true believers to be like, yes, yes, Lord. Because <laughs> the true believers, so we can have peace. <laughs> and so we can find, you know, and, and find the truth and share it. Hallelujah. Praise God. He knows those that are his. Period. He knows those that are going to be led away with the air of the wicked. 
Let's, let's, let's keep the feast of our Lord, brothers and sisters. Amen. Remember your first love. Remember what he done for you on that cross. Amen. Remember what he done for you the day you were at the cross and you were desolate. You hated the world. You hated your life. You, you were mad at everybody. You were angry at everybody. He wasn't angry at nobody. He forgave everybody right there on the cross. So we might receive that blessedness. You understand and be able to have strength to forgive. Everybody put him down and then put him out. And he didn't. He became darkness that we might become light for a moment. He became dark that we might become light in him. But he was raised from the dead. The grave is empty. You understand? He did that for us. We, we blame people. We, we, he didn't blame nobody. He forgave everybody and took the blame. You understand? He took the blame. We, none of us deserve it. You understand? He, he, he did all that for us, that we might have strength through him to live according to his will. You understand? For true children, for the true children, for the true children of God. Many people will be led away. That means they're manifested that they're not of us. They're just not of us. We love them. We, we still going to be kind to them. But those who draw back, it's a, it's a, it's a manifestation of, uh, it's, it, it, it's a sure thing that it's going to, you know, many of them is going to be their perdition. It's going to be salvation for us because we just keep going because we know his soul is not pleased and ungodliness. That's why he gave us the righteousness freely through faith, through grace. So if we continue in ungodliness, his soul's not going to be pleased in it. You understand? He said, my soul is pleased in the saints in the earth. My goodness extends not to thee, Father, but my goodness extends to the saints in the earth. Somebody better wake up. He gave us that free gift to live in him. But an evil heart of unbelief will depart from the living God. See, so there's no excuse. So if you don't remember your first love, you need to get back to your first love, brothers and sisters. Amen. Love you in the Lord. I'll tell you the truth. I hope somebody's hearing the truth today. This is only going to bless you. If you can hear it, God's going to bless you. Hallelujah. If you believe it, God's going to strengthen you. Hallelujah. He's, it's got to be mixed with faith. Hallelujah. God's pleased in faith. Amen. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God and hearing by the word of God. Amen. Because if you can start hearing, hallelujah, God's pleased. Give you more grace. He gives more grace. We realize that, 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 you know, he wants us to come to the obedience. Of, we can't come to the obedience of the faith without his mercy and grace. We grow in obedience because we're children of God. We're predestined to conform to the image of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You understand? Praise the Lord. So right here it says, therefore, will I divide him a portion with the great and he shall divide the spool with the strong. Because he had poured out his soul unto death, and he was numbered with the transgressors. And he bare the sin of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. And he bare the sins of many. He bare the sins of many, and made intercession for the transgressors. That day, hallelujah, that day, we look to him. We were forgiven of all of our sins, all of our trespasses, everything. We were nailed to the cross that day and buried in his death. And we were raised and born again. You understand? Born again. And when we were raised up by the Father, we were seated in heavenly places by his grace and mercy. That day, we came to that cross. When we, when we were at that cross, we came there in darkness and sin. But he came there in light and glory. You understand? And became darkness and sin that we might become the light and glory in him. And not only that, he didn't stay in the grave, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. He was raised from the dead, giving us a lively hope for sure. So them that seen him raised from the dead, guess what they were like? Oh man, everything he said, oh yes, Lord. I get the same reward he gets. He says a righteous man get the reward of a righteous man if, if they believe in the righteous man for the name of a righteous man. You get to believe in this person, you believe in a prophet in the name of the prophet, you get the prophet's reward. Jesus said that. So if you believe in Jesus Christ, the son of God, hallelujah, you get the reward of resurrection, amen. You get the reward of inheritance in heaven, amen. You get the reward of forever being a son of glory, amen. Bringing many sons into glory. Amen. He is the Lord of glory, the author and finisher of our faith. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord today. Amen. Glory be to Jesus. I just want to thank Jesus for the cross, for the price he paid. Bear my sin and shame. Amen. And love he came and gave amazing grace. Hallelujah. What a blessedness. All I know is his forgiveness and embrace. He's so merciful, so gracious, so loving, so kind, so faithful, so wonderful. I love you all in the Lord, brothers and sisters. I pray each and every one of you have a blessed morning. Praise the Lord Jesus this morning. I'm so thankful for what all he's done for us. All glory be to Jesus. And I love you all in the Lord, brothers and sisters. And it's just a privilege to get on here with you and preach the truth to you. All glory be to Jesus, you know, by the will of God. I'm, it's just a privilege. It's, it's just an, a blessing, you know, as we wait upon that return. Amen. I love you all in the Lord, brothers and sisters. And, and I just I pray increase to each and every one of you. Amen. And you're going to get increased. Keep coming back. Hallelujah. Just, just keep on coming back and listening. And may the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Love you in the Lord, brothers and sisters. Lord's will be done. Lord's will be done. I don't know how to do this. This is new. Hold on. There we go. If anybody needs any prayers this morning, I'd love to pray with you real quick. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jesus is so mighty to say. Christina will pray. Okay, dear Lord, we just pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus for Christina today. We pray nothing but peaceable fruits of righteousness reign on her and through her for your glory and your name's sake. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you for this amazing grace. Amen. It's coming up on you, sister. Hallelujah. What a blessing to be in the blessing of God. Hallelujah. Praise God in the atmosphere of the heavenly. Amen. To be clothed in the fatness of Jesus Christ's house, the arm of a light. Hallelujah. Consumed us. Hallelujah. In his love and conquered us daily in the power of his love. Oh, glory be to Jesus. Oh, glory be to Jesus. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for the cross, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the price you paid. Hallelujah. For my daughter, Jacqueline, and my family. Dear Lord, we just pray right now for Sister Maggie and all her family, Lord. You know what they need, oh Lord Jesus, and we bless your name today and we pray that you be magnified in their lives in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's coming to pass, sister. Amen. God's already on the move. All glory be to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Prayer, prayer for my calling. Your calling is, uh, prayer for your calling is to, you know, read Romans chapter 12, 1 and 2, and just, just know that he set you apart to be holy without blame before him in love. That's, it. That's what he wants to do. That's his, what he wants you to do is focus on growing up in the Lord and maturity. Hallelujah. And just be thankful in all things while you're growing in the word of God, keeping the feast. Don't be moved away. I'm telling you now, if you're looking on, on different places, you know, I just tell you to be sanctified unto the Lord. Our calling, we need to walk worthy of our calling. That means to be holy and set apart. You understand? He called us into holiness. Any man despised, they don't despise me. They despise the Lord. You understand? All glory be to Jesus. I want you to know that today, that he's called us for those things. You understand? That's what he's called us for so we can bear fruit. That's what he's in. That's what he's. God's interested in you bringing forth fruit. Wherever you're going to end up is let God ordain it in time. He's going to ordain it not by your wisdom. It's going to be God's power that's going to move the things and shift the things. And you waiting upon the Lord every day of your life. You're going to be waiting on the Lord because his power, our faith is in the power of God. That's going to raise us up. That moves things around for us. It's not in the wisdom of man. OK, amen. God's power is mighty. Oh, he clothes the meek in salvation. You understand? He clothes the meek in salvation. What is salvation? Salvation is what raised up Jesus from the dead. Salvation is what's divided the Red Sea, the salvation of the Lord. Hallelujah. And he clothes his children, his saints in salvation. And that salvation divides the seas wherever they go. He goes before us. He goes around us. He's always with us. Amen, brothers and sisters. Amen. I love you in the Lord. Hallelujah. Be clothed in light. Be clothed in Jesus. 
You, you know how to do that? You got to die daily in his presence. Cling to that holy place. Don't come out of there and wait upon the Lord. He'll show you. He'll show you everything you ever needed to know. You ain't got to you ain't got to fret or or or, or 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 be restless. Just get away from everything and stop. Stop listening to so many people and step back for a moment and let the word reveal to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Because you're going to be confused. Listen to every doctrine. The doctrine of Christ is all we need. Amen. Hallelujah. Love you in the Lord. I love you in the Lord. Uh, pray for Tim. Tim. Okay. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, good to see you, Catherine. God bless you in the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Good to see you, Tim. We're going to pray for you, dear Lord. We just thank you for Tim this morning. Lord Jesus, we just pray that you move in a mighty way over him. You know everything he needs. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. He's already moving. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 God bless everyone. Everyone have a blessed day in the Lord. Yes, you too, Brother Thomas. Love you in the Lord. So glad to see you today. Have a blessed day in the Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Preserved in Jesus. Amen. Waiting on that rapture. Amen. Anticipating the rapture. Being clothed in the light. Hallelujah. Knowing that we're about to be clothed in the heavenly tabernacle. Amen. That we're about to be clothed. Hallelujah. You know what? We, we're not burdened to put off Jesus. We're burdened to be clothed in the new and uh, because our hope is in Christ coming in his return. Amen. He's coming with his reward. We're not burdened by by the spirit to be to be. We're burdened by this flesh because we're children of God waiting on that hope. You understand a child of God's not burdened by the spirit. We're burdened by the flesh. We're children of God. Somebody better understand that right there. Amen. That's straight from the Lord right there. We're not burdened by, by the spirit. We're burdened by the flesh because we're children of God. I want you to wake up. We've been born again. Sons and daughters, when you get that right there, you've gotten something then. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. We're not burdened by the, by the, by the spirit of God because we're children of God. Those who are burdened by the spirit of God, they, they can draw back. But when you wake up to understand that right there, we're burdened by the flesh. That means we're waiting to be clothed with our new glorified body. You understand, brothers and sisters? That means, oh, glory, God, oh, glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. That right there came straight from the heavenly. You understand? That right there was revealed by our God in heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I ain't never thought of it like that. I couldn't think like that. I'm not the smartest guy in the world. You understand? Hallelujah. The little bit that I know, I'm just thankful I'm led by the Holy Ghost. Glory be to Jesus. All glory be to Jesus. All glory be to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. It ain't that we're burdened by God's spirit trying to put that off. No, we're burdened by this flesh. We're ready to put the flesh off and be raptured. We're anticipating our Lord's return. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All glory be to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's the children of God right there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I love you in the Lord, brothers and sisters. We're peaceable fruits of righteousness. You know, God is here today. Thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for the price you paid. Bearing all our sin and shame. In love he came and gave amazing grace. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your goodness today. I want to say God bless each and every one of you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Hallelujah. We're looking for Jesus to be clothed upon. We're watching under prayer, waiting for the adoption to wit, the redemption to wit our bodies. Amen. To be swallowed up by the rapture. We're anticipating. Amen. And when we're anticipating, it purifies us even as we are already purified. Amen. Hallelujah. When we're anticipating the blood of Jesus Christ is washing us. Hallelujah. We have a lively hope. He's coming with his reward. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I love you in the Lord, brothers and sisters. It's a blessing to get on here and preach the good news. Hallelujah. What a privilege. What an honor. All glory be to Jesus. I'm just thankful I'm his today. Hallelujah. If you see me, I'm Brother Jerry, God's possession, bought with the price of blood. Amen. That's just what I am. I'm bought with the price of blood. I'm God's possession. I'm not my own. Okay. I'm just the clay. He's the potter. Hallelujah. He's got power over the clay. So y'all keep me in prayers. Hallelujah. And I thank you, brothers and sisters, for each and every one of you. I love you all in the Lord. I pray that the Lord continue to have mercy, mercy, hallelujah, upon each and every one of you, that the blood of Jesus Christ is sprinkling on each and every one of you. Walk in the light with the blood of Jesus Christ washes you and purges you, my blessed love, brothers and sisters in Christ. Y'all are loved. Each and every one of us are loved, blessed, redeemed. Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, the Bible says, says the blessed is, blessed is the man whose spirit has no guile. 
who the Lord imputeth not iniquity. Hallelujah. We know he didn't. We know, we know, we know he don't put impute iniquity. He imputes righteousness. Hallelujah. To those who have faith in Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. That means you've been set free from sin. Blessed is the man who's set free. Hallelujah. Grace reigns. Who the son sets free is free indeed. Amen. That blessedness is coming upon each and every one of you. Just keep growing in the Lord. You'll be glad. Amen. Love you in the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Just remember him. Just remember. Just remember we went to the cross and we were desolate in this world. We hated our life and we were at the cross and we were desolate. We were poor, broken, wretched, without strength. And Jesus was going to the cross with full of glory. Hallelujah. Full of glory. He went to the cross who are consumed in glory. You understand? Hallelujah. And that's what happened on the cross. He was cut off out of the land of the living. Why? Because he transferred his light to us who don't deserve it. That's God's love for us. Amen. He tra he became poor that we might become rich in him. Amen. And then not only that, he went to, he went all the way down to the lowest parts. Amen. And he was raised from the dead on the third day. So we have a lively hope because guess what? He's not in that grave no more. Amen. That stone's moved away. Amen. Our Lord is risen forever, giving us lively hope. Why do you think? They're like, whoo, when he was raised up and they seen him. Hallelujah. When they seen him, they said, what? We get this reward. <laughs> in every single way, we get the same reward as him. Hallelujah. He said, those who overcome, I give you the morning star. Hallelujah. That you may come and sit down with me in my throne as I have sat down with my father in his throne. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. So let's keep Jesus first. Amen, brothers and sisters. Amen. Hallelujah. What a blessing. He's coming with his reward for those who wait upon him. Amen. We wait upon the Lord all the day long. Waiting upon the Lord, singing him a song. No matter what you sing to him, he loves it. Bless the Lord Jesus. Bless the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Love you all in the Lord. Have a blessed and wonderful day in Jesus. Amen.